like I was saying, meanwhile, you know, while the country's leaders are talking about the COVID wave and how to deal with it, a huge potential super spreader event in Karnataka after four or five full days has finally been suspended. The Congress party has suspended its huge Mekedatu Padayatra in the state of Karnataka after pleas from all quarters, including within the party. D.K. Shivakumar had become the face of this Padayatra and he had defiantly refused to suspend it. But today, after huge pressure from all quarters, saying that this was perhaps the most irresponsible political action that could have been taken by the Congress party at this time, they finally decided to suspend, even reluctantly though, suspend this Padayatra for now. Take a look. After blatantly defying every COVID protocol, the super spreader Mekedatu Padayatra in Karnataka finally stands cancelled. But the last five days of the protest march has done enough damage. Karnataka Congress leaders have intentionally contributed to the COVID spike in the state. Several Congress workers and five senior Congress netas who were part of the Padayatra have tested positive. And the numbers may only increase. The decision to cut short the Padayatra, which should have been taken much earlier, was finally announced by former Chief Minister Siddharamaya in Ramnagar district. <laughs> At least 25,000 people were spotted together in Kanakpura on the day the Padyatra was flagged off on January 9th and was slated to culminate in Bengaluru on 19th. The shocking aerial footage of the Padyatra showed scores of Congress workers walking in close proximity, many without masks, and the man leading the rally, D.K. Shivakumar himself, seen coughing and sneezing in the middle of crowds. Karnataka High Court slammed the Burmai government for granting them permission. Prohibitory orders were issued against the Padyatra, which had already reached Ramnagar district, following which 4,000 police personnel rushed to Ramnagar to stop the protest march from moving any further. Trying to calm the situation further, Chief Minister Basavaraj Bomai, who himself has tested positive for COVID-19, has issued a press statement. He said, and I quote, I am ready to take all necessary measures for the implementation of Mekedatu project, taking all of you into confidence. So I hereby request you to drop the Padyatra. Let's all together fight Corona now and together work for the implementation of Mekedatu project in the days to come." Unquote. Multiple FIRs have been filed against DK Shivakumar, Siddharamaya and several others for violating COVID protocols in the middle of a raging COVID third wave. With Nagar Jindwar Karat, Bureau Report, India Today. So after nearly a week of this Padayatra, the Congress uh, has finally come to its senses and decided to suspend it, even if a little reluctantly. A very defiant D.K. Shivakumar has said this is only being done in the interests of uh, uh, the state of Karnataka. Uh, this good sense was absent over the last five, six days that this Padayatra has been on. But uh, be that as it may, good sense has finally prevailed and the Padyatra has been called off. There are other processions by BJP leaders as well. So this is by no means just a Congress issue. But the spotlight right now is on this Padyatra. And I want to introduce onto our show uh, uh, Vivek Reddy of the BJP, Brijesh Kalapa uh, of the Congress Party. I, but I want to begin with India Today's Nolan Pinto, who's with me. Nolan, uh, you have the Bombay government already declaring, uh, you know, through Minister Sudhakar and others, that this Padayatra that has been suspended today in many ways has already done a lot of damage. They've gone ahead and declared it a super spreader event. On what basis has that been done? Is it based on facts or is it based on politics? What's going on, Nolan? Well, as, as of today, the health minister, in fact, had a press conference. And over there, he actually came out and stated that the cases that, have, that are increasing, especially outside Bengaluru and in the old Mysuru region, 
is because of the Pada Yatra. He says that that is the super spreader. So he put the blame, blame firmly on the Congress's Mekhe Dato Pada Yatra. As of now, the facts are not there, the numbers are not there, because when you talk about the total number of cases across Karnataka, 80%, almost 80% of the cases are from Bengaluru. And that is why the Congress all along has been saying that the Pada Yatra is not leading to the increase in cases in the city. Nevertheless, mm. be that as may be, you can, you, we were there, uh, Shiv, on Sunday when you had about 25, 20 to 25,000 people, no one following COVID appropriate behavior, nobody fall, wearing masks as such. Even the senior leaders were not wearing masks. I mean, it would, it would be extremely uh, bizarre and miraculous that, that people over there wouldn't have spread COVID-19. And day by day, one, uh, day one, day two, day three, day four, the same numbers were there walking through villages. This is why the government says that is a super spreader. Now, it is thankfully yeah. because of the Karnataka High Court lambasting and coming down both heavily on the government and on the Congress that they have finally yeah. decided to do this. Okay. Okay. Nolan, thank you very much for that. I mean, uh, action is likely to be taken, but we'll have to see where this goes because of the political, you know, political emotions that are already mixed in with this entire process. Uh, Brijesh and Vivek, welcome. Good to have you on the show. Thank you for your time. Brijesh, starting with you, the Congress, the, you know, why is the Congress making it out to be some kind of virtue that they've called this off? It's almost like they're trying to sound, your party is trying to sound magnanimous. Uh, you know, this good sense should have come a little earlier. It, it clearly, uh, you know, it is the action that has been taken. It's the high courts, uh, you know, scathing words about this whole Padhyatra that has forced a rethink, not least, you know, people from within your own party saying, look, you're going to damage, uh, you know, our chances in the BBMP elections. That was the reason why this was called off, Brijesh. No, I don't think so. Uh, uh, see, first thing is that insofar as uh, this Padhyatra is concerned, uh, when the High Court had spoken and we had to go down to the wisdom of the High Court. Uh, this yeah. was, uh, you know, something which we had to listen to, one. But this High Court has said something far more scathing about the state government. The state government has been shown an extremely poor life as people who are not able to uh, even function properly, who are not able to take decisions, and uh, the kind of uh, words that they're being used by the High Court against the state government are uh, extremely, I think, uh, uh, something which, uh, like I said... Scary. I'll come to that in a moment. Now, I'll, I'll come to that this, in a moment. Yeah, I'll, I'll come to that in a moment. If this, just get, get over with this particular thing, because the, yeah. the Congress leadership, Mr. Siddharamaya, Mr. Shivakumar, you know, they, they've made it sound like as if, you know, they're doing the state a favor and in the larger interests of the thing. Where was this larger interest when, you know, people were testing positive two, three days ago? Shiv, I must tell you that in so far as Bengaluru is concerned, Bengaluru is facing a serious water shortage. And this has not been on for just a couple of years. It's been on for several years. Now here is yeah. the government, which has done precious little during its term in offices between 2008 and 2013. And again now, after it, uh, you know, uh, uh, bought its way to power because they've paid each MLA 50 crore plus. So now after 2019, they've done precious little. So it was an imperative duty to remind them that, look, you have a responsibility towards the, the citizens and the state and to ensure that there is enough and more water for all of us. Supreme Court has granted the water in 2018, but the government has just been sitting on its back and doing nothing okay. since, since okay. 2018. Okay. So it was very important okay. for us to send this message. And this message, I believe, has gone home. If uh, it has not gone home, then we'll have to restart what we have done. But the message has been in, 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 in uh, well at the behest of the government and perhaps in some ways in public perception, certainly from the High Court as well, that message about water, which is a legitimate one and a separate issue, which we've been highlighting here on India Today, as you know, Brijesh, is it has been diluted by this entire super spreader, uh, you know, label that has been attached to this entire event. No, and I don't think know, anybody can argue. Has no sense after Tablighi Jamaat. After the Supreme Court came down on the criminalization of Tablighi Jamaat, if the BJP forget about the Tablighi Jamaat lesson, then what can you say? Forget about the, 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 re, the, the you're, reason. You're talking to people but the reason, who refuse to learn their lessons. No, no. The, uh, the point, the point about the Tablighi Jamaat is a separate political point that others are making. The point here is that you have this Padyatra Vivek Reddy. The the Padyatra was being led by someone who was denying the existence of COVID in Karnataka. So from the very genesis of this Padyatra. There was a very dangerous streak 
uh, you know, to the entire foundation of this Padhyatra because it was a person who was refusing to test, denying the existence of COVID, uh, you know, calling out conspiracy in terms of people who had gone to meet him. Vivek, your government in Karnataka has gone ahead and called this Padhyatra a super spreader event already. Is there data? It certainly looked, it looked scary. There were school children involved. There were huge crowds involved. Mr. Mr. Shivakumar, who's a who's a very strong, popular leader, and we wish him the best of health. He didn't look like he was very well either. How is your government going ahead and calling it a super spreader event, Vivek? Well, the question is, uh, it is not about Shivakumar's health. The question is here, which uh, unfortunately Congress is unable to understand. The question is, how exactly can the Congress say that when COVID has reached 20,000 cases per day in Karnataka and 15,000 cases in neighboring Bangalore per day, and when there are a lakh and above active cases in Karnataka, 80% of which is in Bangalore, how in the world can, it's unimaginable, how in the world can Congress say that this is a concocted figure, that this will not lead to a super spreader event? People are radiating from the, from the, uh, they are, they are, coming in and meeting in the uh, jata or in this uh, protest and they are radiating to all parts of Karnataka, particularly to the old Mysore areas. And is there no responsibility? I am astonished. The Brijesh Kalapa talks about good sense. I wonder, first we should be talking about common sense. Do they have common sense that this will not lead to a super spreader event and it will ultimately affect the health of innocent villagers whom they are attracting there? And on top of this, shockingly, Shiv, on top of this, it is astonishing to believe that a political party, state political apparatus could be so irresponsible. On top of this, they have the brazenness to issue video calls. Shiv Kumar says, please come and join me at the peak of COVID. Therefore, this is a giant swirl, you know. This is a tsunami that has generated in Karnataka. Okay. This confluence of people. And as British. a result of this... People are suffering, and I wonder what I wonder what Rajesh is uh, uh, thinking of when he says that the, the that the High Court attacked the government or the High Court had disparaging remarks for the government. Well, the question is, Shiv, why at all had the High Court been to be invited into this? But for you, mm. but for Rajesh Kalapas party, if you had yeah. not conducted no, no. it, okay. the High Court would not have it, had have had the occasion to come forth at all. The, sca the scathing comments were definitely made about the government. But Brijesh, respond to that. Uh, the, 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 the BJP spokesperson, Vivek, says that this is not about good sense. This is about common sense. And by denying the potential for a super spreader event, uh, you know, was criminal negligence and irresponsibility. And he takes the example of BK Shivakumar actively summoning people as well to come in and increase the crowds. Respond to that. If this is part of the political process. You also know how Renukacharya has behaved. There were as many as yeah. five FIRs lodged against the, the, the Congress leaders. What about Mr. Renukacharya? What about Mr. Subhash Gupta? What about Janardhan Reddy? So basically, if you are in the BJP, you are not a super spreader. Even if you are spreading to lakhs and lakhs of people, you are not a super spreader. But if you belong to a rival political party, you are a super spreader. So this is the message ultimately that the BJP wants to give. And they call it common sense, not good sense. Right? So this is something which we'll have to digest. Whether we like it or not, we'll have to digest. Whether the Supreme Court has come down on the fact that a, 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 a one group is called uh, the Tablighi Jamaat super spreader. Despite all that, we have to accept this. So this but, is one but, part. But, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. Finish, finish your point. Sorry. The second part is, Shil, sh second part is that even now, the BJP shamelessly refuses to say that sorry we went wrong in not you know pursuing the make it out of project. This is a, a the, this is the height of the kind of negligence that they're showing. The kind of but Bridget, you've given them a chance. Them. You know, if there was a if there was a point to be made, you've given them that you've given them that window of opportunity to completely dilute and divert the issue. Even if the make it issue was the central issue here, by indulging in irresponsible behavior, the BJP for whatever it's worth, has, uh, you know, gotten a chance to completely divert away from it. Nobody's even talking no, wish, about Megidatu. They're only talking true. about super spreader. No, I wish what you were saying is true, but they will face the wrath of the people in the, of Karnataka in the coming days because the people of Karnataka are extremely angry with them. 
Because having wasted okay. seven and a half years is not a joke. We're trying to shift the blame on the Congress party, which has Vivek. actually done thing, something by spending crores and crores on well, public ads. So, it's shift, something shift. people of Karnataka Very are not going to uh, just, just let them... Uh, be, be, just, let just me come back. Yeah, respond, respond, let respond me come away. back yeah. on this. Shiv. Shiv. Yeah, yeah, very interesting, Shiv. So you are aware of Karnataka politics and you are aware of the internal politics within Congress. Today, there are two huge litigations in National Green Tribunal and in Supreme Court and Mekeda 2 project can be implemented only after these litigations are cleared. Is not Congress aware of this? It is aware of this. And also, despite these litigations, Karnataka has moved forward in submitting the environmental plan, management plan, to the uh, central government. So it's all awaiting, it is pending clearance. Why did the Congress, okay. knowing that there are litigations, why did the Congress step into this whirlpool? Very interesting. Shiv, the problem is okay. that within the Congress, there is a race for one-up pension. Mr. D.K. Shukumar wants to accelerate and go past uh, Sidramaya, hoping and believing okay. that he will be the sole leader of Congress. Uh, so he took up I this will, issue, will... a dead issue. And let, he let wants me, to gain political I'll, ground. I will put that question so to Prajesh about personal... internal, internal wranglings and power struggle within the Karnataka Congress in just a moment. But, but there's one question that you must answer which Prajesh had raised, Vivek, which is that isn't it also true that similar or comparable violations by leaders of your party like Renuka Acharya and others, no action has been taken against them. Hasn't that in many ways blunted the kind of principle well, and righteous the, I think with which I, you attack the Congress party? I, I think, I think for, as a response to this from a political party, I think the government has to take action against Renukacharya, has to take action against the others, and also has to take more severe action against D.K. Shukumar because when the epidemic is at its peak, it's gaining ground and it's accelerating. And he had the responsibility, the rashness and, you know, to the brazenness okay. to go ahead with this jata. And on day for days continuously, not just one day, despite four FIRs. What sort of an example are they setting? Don't they have any shame? Aren't they setting a wrong example? They stand out in all brazenness and say, I will violate the law? What do, what do, what do you expect uh, students elderly people, citizens to watch this and say, do they have to follow this? Okay. This sort of a beautiful I... example set by D.K. Shukumar of violating the law. How sad and unfortunate it is. Congress must apologize no, no, because the people of the state of Karnataka. Let them first realize that. I, I don't I don't think Mr. Shivakumar or Mr. Sidharamai or any way, uh, anyone is in any mood to uh, apologize. They're in a very belligerent mood. They said that you know this entire um, protest will continue after a few a few days or weeks. Mr. Uh, uh, Brijesh, um, uh, you know, just to wind up this debate, since since Vivek had uh, raised it and since this has come up from time to time, we did say Mr. Shivakumar and Mr. Sidharamaya together at that press conference. You know, this is something that your, your party is hit with quite often, isn't it true, Brijesh, that there is a power struggle, there is a schism between uh, DK Shivakumar and Mr. Sidharamaya, there is a, you know, a kind of war for supremacy within the party. And that's what this is all about. It has nothing to do with Mekedatu or anything else. Suffice to say, Shir, that both the Mekedatu Padayatra was planned and organized by the two of them. And completely, uh, you know, uh, uh, even worked together. And they even walked together for over five days for a, just a brief uh, one day or so. Uh, Mr. Sidramaya was not well. Suffice to say that they've completely worked together on this. So I, I don't think it's even worth, uh, you know, responding to that charge. But importantly, every BJP spokesperson that has appeared on your show or other shows has repeatedly said, no, action must be taken against Renukacharya. Action must be taken against Subhash Gutella. Action must be taken against Janardhan Reddy. And even the TV... We are waiting for that action. No, I agree. And sanguine. And says, yeah, yeah, I agree with you that, you know, the spokesperson has been able to say this. But has any action taken place? No. And this is what makes it a super spreader event of the BJP, but is not stated to be a super spreader because they, you know, they, they don't belong to a rival political party. No, this has become a... This, we ended this up is, taking I, no I, action I, against you also, Brijesh. 
but 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 FIRs have been lost. We Vivek, you see, Vivek, this is too serious also. an issue to make it BJP versus Congress. If if action is going to be taken against one, it has to be taken against the others. FIRs have been lodged against DK Shivakumar and the others within the Congress. Similar action should be taken against Renuka Charya. This is not about BJP versus Congress. This is about the yes. public health of the people it of Karnataka. To, yes, it has to be. But, but Vivek, you've said all the right Absolutely. things. But Absolutely. you know, it, 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 it almost be become taken. like a your spread, super spreader versus mine. No, it can't Vivek, turn, it, what turn into that. The, we will have to take action against everyone equally. Yeah, it can't turn into that sort of a situation. We have to take action against everybody equally. But the point is, okay. the, the action, doing this all. continuously over a period of five days, for five days, they have done this. And we have not taken action except lodging FIR. We expected them to voluntarily withdraw. But that sense did not prevail until a High Court of Karnataka had to come and warn them and okay. tell them, like, like a okay. master tells the children, that this is not I... supposed to be what you are doing. So therefore, it's... the internal schism and wars are being fought against the wrong cause and endangering okay. people and their health. What sort of politics is we'll, this? We'll, the Congress must we'll leave it for this we'll, sort of a politics. It is so dangerous. We'll, we'll the leave it for the... Okay, we'll leave it there for the moment. Brijesh and Vivek, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, it, uh, it, it came belatedly, but thankfully, sense has prevailed. You can call it good sense, common sense, whatever it is. We'll leave that to the netas. But we wish uh, Mr. Shivakumar good health as well as all the other people who have uh, you know, for whatever reason, been part of these processions. Nobody should have to suffer COVID. I am sitting here with, and I'm COVID positive, and I can tell you it's not a cakewalk at all. And I don't wish it on anyone. So wishing all of you and your families good health. This is not something that we would like to play with. Thank you very much, Brijesh and Vivek.